Hey everybody, it's Ray, and uh, I know it's been a really long time since I've done a new video, but you know, life got in the way, and I've been doing a whole bunch of other things. Um, and this just hasn't been a priority lately, but I'd like to start doing some more videos again. And the first thing I'd like to do is wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, hope that you guys are starting it off with a big bang. And uh, today I'm actually going to be talking about uh, the iPhone 6 Apple leather case. Now I know that this isn't a particularly new uh, product and it's been around since the launch of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus in September 2014 but you know I just got this case and normally I am not an iPhone case person so you know maybe you've seen some of my old videos where I actually did have uh, cases and I reviewed a few cases but for the most part I like to carry my phone in what you would normally call or most people would call nude without a case and you know yeah it's susceptible to more damage but you know I usually expect to replace my phone in two years or so and I actually like the character that's up that my phone has after I two years. I rarely ever, actually I never sell my iPhones. Um, they're nice uh, showcases of evolution. Um, so this is, anyway, this is the, <laughs> yeah, I just like kind of like dropped it right there. This is the Apple, official Apple leather iPhone 6 case. Uh, it's $45 and I actually got this for a really sweet deal. So I actually had a credit at Staples um, for 40 bucks. So I used that credit and recently decided to apply it to this case and came out to about $4 and some, I mean $5 and some change. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Um, I've checked out this case a million times I should really clean that, but whatever. I've checked out this case. Actually, let me just clean that. It kind of bothers me. All right, got a microfiber, and there we go. It's clean. Um, I actually was hesitant to get a case for my iPhone 6, and I've tried this case probably like a lot of times at the Apple Store, and I just didn't like it that much, honestly. Um, the case itself uh, adds... A little bit of bulk to the iPhone so the 6.9 millimeter thickness or thinness uh, is kind of lost when you have a case on it another thing I really don't like is the fact that it's expensive um, I ended up buying one because just because it was cheap I'm not so that's not a problem for me that wasn't a problem for me it might be a problem for you but the other thing I really didn't like is uh, the case kind of takes away from this awesome design, which is um, the edges of the iPhone 6 are kind of curved. Um, they curve downward. And so when you're swiping from side to side, you actually can feel that nice swipey feeling. So you go like this. Um, you can actually swipe like that. It goes right to the edge and it doesn't like, your thumb just doesn't like run up against anything but once you have the case on uh, because this case actually is um, not flush with it, um, the, it you can see that when you run up to it it makes that just it's just not that nice you know it'll always get to this point where I'm just like ugh, damn it Ugh, it's not a good feeling. Um, but there is an advantage to that. Um, when you place the phone uh, flat on a table, it's not lying directly on the screen, which I guess adds a le level of protection. The other thing that the case also adds is this little uh, raised oval. Uh, it kind of protects the lens, but honestly, the lens is made out of sapphire crystal, so that scratching it really shouldn't be a problem. And I've never really scratched my old iPhone's camera lens either. Um, otherwise, the leather is pretty nice. It actually holds up really well. Um, here is the iPhone 5 leather case that I purchased uh, last year. I believe it was last year. And, uh, you know, obviously the black is much better because 
um, it doesn't get as dirty and I won't have to like buy cleaner for it because it's just not the dirt marks just aren't visible. I'm sure they are there, I just can't see them. Um, so you can see that it protects the volume buttons. This little uh, mute switch rocker is a little bit harder to get. So if you don't have fingernails, it kind of sucks. Um, and obviously there's this time around, there's actually no protection for the bottom of your phone. Um, if you look over here, this is what Apple did on the iPhone 5 and 5S. Um, it kind of wrapped it all around and Apple didn't do that this time around. And the main reason is probably because, you know, it muffles, the case kind of actually muffles the speaker holes and this time it doesn't. So, and one more thing is that I've heard a lot of complaints, especially myself, from myself that, you know, it's really, once you put the case on, it's really hard to take off. And so you can actually see right here, I've got kind of a rip right there because I was trying to pry it off and it just didn't come off very well. But otherwise, the case is actually really well made. Um, I don't know if it's really worth 45 bucks. If you are able to find it cheap like I did, then yeah, it's kind of a good investment. Um, uh, inside is just, you know, some kind of uh, soft microfiber. Um, and it says, you know, the usual designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. Um, so that's just a quick review of the Apple, official Apple iPhone 6 case. Uh, they do sell in a silicone version. Um, I personally don't like the silicone version as much because I think that it kind of feels cheap and plasticky. But, you know, it's also easier to wipe off uh, leather. You'll actually have to get some cleaner or something. But, uh... Yeah, that's the quick that <laughs> the quick review for the Apple app, iPhone 6 leather case. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, in the meantime, uh, if you also haven't checked out my new website, uh, it's dapperguide.com. You can click on the annotation right here. And uh, it's basically a men's lifestyle website. We cover style, tech, culture, and just highlight a lot of cool products. So uh, if you're feeling generous, be sure to hit that link uh, in the annotation right here or in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.